guys, this is Kirsten Seraldo and I'm reviewing four places to go to as a team in Chicago. Let's go! first place we got is the Museum of Contemporary Art, or as many people call it, MCA, located in the downtown Chicago. This place is the place to be, that's if you like art, especially free art. It was first founded in 1967 and is one of the largest contemporary art venues. They often change their exhibition, so that makes it very fun. And that's off right now, they have Paul Heyer, Endless Summer, Kevin Josephson, and many more. It's also free for all Chicagoans under 18, so make sure you check that out. So, for MCA, I would have to give its availability a 3 just because it closed pretty early. And on that note, if you're not located downtown, it's pretty hard to get there and actually enjoy the art. Transportation-wise, it would be a 4 just because you can take the red line 156, 147, and many more. Expenses would have to be a 5 just because it's free. And last but not least, the content of it would be a 4 just because I love art, I love the atmosphere, but I do see the art multiple times because I go there too often. Average out to 16 out of 20. Availability of five. It's available until eight for most days, and it's transportation of five. The loop and the red line is there anytime, and I will have to give us expense of five because it's free for all high school students and only high school students. And last but not least, the content would have to be a five. It's really fun. Never was bored in that place, and that average out to a twenty out of twenty. The third spot we got is our arcade place called Replay. There's many locations, including Andersonville, Lincoln Park, and Boys Town. I went to the one in Andersonville, so I'll be focusing on that. If you like video games, well, arcade games, then you are in the right spot. All games are free. Yes, you heard right. Free. It's a great place to eat. They also have popcorn. If you're looking for some fun and just something to nibble on, you're available to do that. Play Andersonville, I will have to give us availability a three because the close pretty early for anyone under 21. Transportation wise, would have to be a three because they are pretty far from a lot of places. You can only really take a 22 bus. Expenses will have to be a five because the food is fairly decent, it's about 10 to 15 dollars, and playing there is free, so it's a win win situation. Content would also have to be a five because it's really fun. I had a blast, and that averaged out to 15. Last but not least, we got the one and only Armadillo Pillow Bookstore located in Rogers Park. It's one of my favorite places to go to to unwind and relax. It has a very distinct smell of incense. And in this store, you'll find many stuff. Stuff including jewelry, art, incense, stickers, and oh, 
piles and piles and piles of books. Availability would have to be a five. It's open until eight every single day. Transportation wise, it will be a 3.5. You have to get off at Loyola or take 145, 155. Either way, there's not many options. Expenses will have to be a 4.5. The books are fairly cheap and the other stuff is also low cost. Last but not least, the content will have to be a five, especially if you love books and really cool places like this. That would average out to an 18 out of 20. Those are four places in Chicago that you can go to as a team. This is your girl, Kristen Rock, signing out.